Welcome back to the next zip code. Today I want to show you how I approach shooting off of a roof. I've got a prop behind me that I built, it has an 812 pitch. That's about as steep of a pitch as you want to comfortably and safely shoot off of. In the real world, you really wouldn't shoot off of much steeper of a pitch than this um, without the addition of ropes and that kind of um, gear to be able to help you stay on that roof. I'm going to show you how I shoot um, these stages. That way it'll hopefully formulate in your minds what you may do um, to make it more practical for you. Just looking to get a solid platform and a solid position to be able to engage targets. So I've got a target out here. It's a two-thirds zip six steel target. I've got it at 430 yards. To me, that's a practical distance. Another one is 465 yards, not a lot different. I have my scope dialed, this is an MOA today, to eight, eight MOA. I'm using my Tika, this is my 6.5 Creedmoor, it's in an MDT chassis. Um, got a Thunder Beast suppressor um, on the, the end of it to make it nice and quiet. This barrel is the factory barrel and this 6.5 Creedmoor is very, very accurate with my hand load. So I'm gonna hopefully show you through the scope when uh, I've got this trigger cam on here. I'm just gonna give you a little idea of what I do. So without further slowing us all down, I'll show you how I'll mount up here and get on the roof. So for me personally, when it's a, in, a, in a situation where you would actually be shooting for um, a purpose off of a rooftop, um, I'm not going to be carrying with me all sorts of extra bags and special equipment uh, that you may see in a match situation. What I pr will have with me is my backpack as far as my other piece of gear. Backpack full of about 100 rounds of ammunition and um, gear such as that would be for uh, if I got hurt, you know, I have a med pack, um, food, water, that kind of stuff. So in, in a situation where you're gonna use these skills from shooting off of a rooftop, um, you're just not going to carry all sorts of other gear with you. So I'm going to show you how I shoot this without anything other than the gear that I have and, and would carry with me. So the idea that I think of to shoot is I, I want to fill as much space up between me and the roof so that I can get a solid um, position. So first off, I would do is I would take off my 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 pack on my back swing it around in front of me so that I have to use this as a gap filler just like so so we're gonna use this as a gap filler now it just depends on your bipod system I'm gonna do it without deploying my bipod at this time just because it just depends on what the steepness of the roof is and if you're trying to set up quickly um, I want to be able to see how solid I can make the position just from leaning the forend of the rifle right on the ridge and not even worrying about what my bipod may do so we're gonna attempt, attempt then, then to make, make an, an engagement, engagement uh, and, and engage and make an impact, impact on this target, target at 430 yards. yards. So, so let's, let's see what, see what it, looks it looks like through the scope, scope and and, um, and how it goes here. here. All right. So level it all up. Let me adjust my parallax to 400. There we go. So as you can see through the scope, it's pretty solid. All right, a little bit back and forth. I'm on a 
hay wagon frame, the less tucked one off. That was a good solid hit. All right, let's do it again. Again. Had something off. That's not gonna help me out. That's uh, when I loaded up that mag, it somehow went nose down. Somehow, got an issue with some of these bullets in here. All right. Another good thing to do is see if you can, uh, there we go. All right, so let's now change our position. I've got the wind coming from my back. All right, and as you can see, this is making a nice, nice, filler for me. I'm, I'm scrunching up. See, I'm trying to make myself as small as possible. All right. I've got the wind coming from my back, so I'm going to have to hold to the right here. And that missed. Must not have held enough elevation. This is a little further. There we go. Didn't hold, didn't hold enough, enough elevation. elevation. Need to hold about the right shoulder. There we go. So. As you can see, the gun is very consistent. If I do my part. There we go, so one more maybe, 465 yards. That's it, one more. Well, I'll shoot all 10. There we go, guys, so there you have it. We have our... This is what I do when I'm shooting off of a rooftop stage. I know that these targets are not that far out there. We have, um, you know, they're under 500 yards, but I really feel that this is practical distance, practical accuracy um, for the conditions that we have and um, for what the reason why you'd be shooting off of a rooftop so anyhow I just wanted to give you a little video of what I do to give you kind of the idea of what you can plan on if you had to shoot off of a rooftop and what you may do so until next time take care and be safe